Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy and today I'm actually just going to be doing a wash day. So my hair is actually relaxed. Um I've never um I'm not a natural naturalista. Why? Because um basically I am just um I feel like it's a lot of work and a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of work and a lot of commitment and honestly I'm not really about that life especially about my hair like i love my hair as is as it is and it's become very very healthy and i want to sh show you the products i have been using for the past month or so because i got them um recently and i've used them like twice it's probably my third time and i feel like i can see the difference especially because like my hair is is like really normally when i relax my hair this is my hair like one month into detach and normally it's just um what can i say it's very thin like when it's been relaxed it's very thin but then when you like when i use it like this when i right now it's a bit thick and that's what i love i love it when my hair is like bulky and thick especially relaxed because my is so um this hair is dirty and my dye is actually running out but i will not god i choose so badly <laughs> forgive me but i will not be renewing i'll not be re add, adding my color again for a while maybe the next time i go to the salon because right now i'm actually just going to do it here and what i actually do basically is i stop using heat on my hair like i barely ever use heat on my hair what i do is i wash i clean it i treat it sometimes i use leave-in treatment sometimes i use like just normal treatment go into a dryer luckily we do have a dryer in the house so i go into my dryer stay there and then come and wash it off and then um because most times i'm not really in a hurry so i'll just like air dry it it will dry on its own and then i'll oil it and then i'll comb it and then yeah so that's exactly what we're going to do and my room is pretty messy it's it's today it's my mind is all over the place i have so many clothes to fold so many clothes to put away but that is not gonna push me back it's not gonna put me down so i'm gonna be um very ready so what we're gonna do is i want to first of all scrub my body i got this from my mom's room i've stolen it some apricot scrub i've not scrubbed so i want to scrub my body nicely my legs mostly to just you know get rid of the dead skin basically i'm doing pedicure for myself yeah so yeah <laughs> i'll just do the pedicure not pedicure i'll just scrub my legs and then get into the shower and then wash my hair and then wash my body and then We'll see how it goes from there, right? So let's start. I think, should I really show you when, when I, I'll just show you the product I'm using to scrub my legs. Yeah, that's that. Keep it being Wendy. hi guys so today i welcome you to my bathroom and i hope you guys are having a great time watching this video and i hope you guys will have the best time and you will learn something or two about relaxed hair yeah it's not as bad as people make it look it's good it's i love it so um here i am washing my hair with my hogany organics um products i will specify the exact products i'm using but most of mine had like rice water but yeah, so they sent these products to me and I've used them like this was like the second or third time and I loved it. So this particular shampoo gives me the like the minty feel and it leaves my head feeling so fresh and so clean and I really really loved using this um product. Like where you wanna talk about yes I yummy 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 mum Wendy watch out Yes <laughs> So um, I was washing severally. Of course, you have to wash your hair severally because, you know, when it's not so clean, it won't lather. So you wash it severally and then you try it lather. It for me, but it's good, you know. It shows that, you know, it's now becoming cleaner. So that's what I was doing the whole time. But I had to rush the video because, yeah, just because. I hope you guys are enjoying the music I'm playing. Way, way, I feel like a DJ. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please check the description for the exact products that I used during this video. I'm going to leave their details down below as well. So please check Mahogany Organics out as well. 
so um when i was done i used this um deep conditioning um conditioner it has rice water and what this thing smelled so it, it smells like cake or something it smells amazing so you know i put a lot of it in my hair before i showered because you know you have to wash off all the products from your body and of course so was man in georgia money but yeah um that conditioner smells amazing uh, really really good and i don't know if it's this product but my hair has really become um voluminous of late yeah like it's really really good and i feel like this is something that has been brought change because of the rice water aspect but you know what please consult mahogany organics and i hope you guys are having a great time as well please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and yeah we wake a slow mo Wah. Oh, bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you continue watching the video and yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs>
I'm going to get some oil and then we can continue as we speak about my hair. So um, for oiling, today I'm actually going to use this black castor oil. Yeah, this is a camera. Oh, the light, the ring light is blocking. But it's black castor oil, uh, promotes thicker and longer looking hair, strengthens weak hair. So um, since I started using bottles like this to oil my hair, Mimi Sijarudinuma, like it's just so hard. Like unless now I'm asking my mom to like oil my hair with like. So most times I actually use coconut oil. Ile ile nye una pikia na una that one that one the the one everyone uses. That's what like ideally I would use, but I actually ran out and I literally forgot. And actually I couldn't send my dad to go buy because right now my mom left. So my mom is not at home. She went to Shags and then now it's just me and the kids. The me, the kids and then my dad. And now my dad is doing most of the house shopping and I'm staying at home to, you know, help around with online classes. Like there's purely very little breakage. Like this is this is what Katika's when I comb my hair. It feels so good, honestly. It literally feels great. So as I do this, I wanted to talk about my hair journey. So why am I not doing um why isn't my hair relaxed? You end up a bean bag. Mama you will poo Mama you Mama you will sit. Mama you will sit. Mama you will Mama you will Mama you I'm telling you guys, Dinah is good with excuses. She started going to school. Um, so for those who may not know, Dinah is literally in school. So um, it's crazy. Of course, that's how I end the So online classes like this, like that, it's such a struggle for me and for her as well because it's a new concept it's not something she was used to before she's not yeah so and in her mind when she hears that we are going to school it's the idea of you know being in class i do not like how this this thing smells hmm? you want you don't want to wear kijamas i don't want to kijamas you don't want to wear kijamas? I don't want to wear pajamas. Kijamas? Yes. Kijamas is pajamas. So, um, basically what I was saying before Dinah rudely interrupted us is that um, with my hair, I my hair was... I remember in class four or three, my mom uh, put chem for us. I mean, it was the in thing at that time so my mom was like you know what let's let's relax your hair and then she relaxed my hair and my sister's class five she cut it down and i was so hot and then in class eight i i come from a family where you need to um earn your like to luxuries so at some point like kemmed hair palmed hair was a luxury so <laughs> With my mom, being my mom, she said, you know, you need to pass your exams like this. And then, you know, I can be able to try and get you pumped hair. Yeah. So that's what I did in class 8. I passed my MOOC exam. This would be MOOCs, yeah? So I passed my MOOC exam. And that's how I ended up with chemed hair till today. So that's, that's how I, I landed, like, this hair. So normally, for many people, it's the experience of, oh, you know, um, I know a lot of people put chem mostly in their high school because we are, you know, going to boarding and wanting to be able to have hair that can be managed, easily managed. I mean, it's such a bad mentality that, you know, they taught us that our kinky hair is not easily manageable and it's not, you know, you can't leave your hair like that in an afro. They want you to relax it and chanwa it and make it jihau. Nini ni dena? Bubush. Namazo sili. Chukwa simu. Watch Peppa Pig. Alafu. Yo. Likimaliza hapa. Yo. Tuchapambana. Yo. Sende. Yo. Yes. Yo, yo, yo. Aya. Enda. Enda kwa beanbag.
So unapenda kukaa kwa beanbag? Mama umu wachina. Then unadangana. So, um, yeah, so basically, that's what happened. So I ended up with relaxed hair. And for many, like the hair would katika. Like I saw in school and even like at home, like people's hair would literally fall off because of, you know, lack of maintenance. Like, you know, when you're in school, you've gone for three months. Mama ni naungea apa. Sini na shoot video. Mama, ya. When you bad girl. You know, like when you're in school, you are what can I say? When you're in school, you're there, you can't you don't have time to take care of your hair, you don't have time to do this. Sometimes people barely washed their hair for like three months. And if you did, you didn't have like treatment options and things like that. Like there are no options to make your hair. Actually, remember. In, I went so many schools, you guys know that. So, my last school actually is where I found people who are actually very keen about making their hair because they actually brought people over the weekend to shuka guys like lines and all that. And I was like, this is so nice, this is so creative, so reasonable to help someone like maintain good hair. Like, you could wash your hair and then treat it with leave in or just put like away the treatment, stay in the sun, and then go to what is it called? And then have someone blow dry it for you. And it looked so, so good. And then that's another thing, blow dry. But anyway, so after high school, my hair didn't really cut it. It's just always been kidogo. Like my hair is, is not bulky. It's not a lot. It's very little. Yes? But mommy, what is it? Kijamas. Ukivalisha kijamas utachwa kuhumwa. Let me get back. So... The Kijamas girl is gone. She's gone to sleep. She said she's going to sleep. But I know she's going to be back in a few. But I'll deal with that when I'm done here. So thing was, after that, moved into, you know, came back to, came home after high school. And then now, thing was, what happened? After high school now, I went to, when I got now pregnant, now when I was in Campo, my hair was Hell the oh my I'm those people who had like a proper glow up. It's just that I was not in a good headspace because honestly, if I were in a better headspace, I'd be glowing extra, extra like I'd be thick and glowing and all that, like during my pregnancy, but I wasn't, and I mean no regrets now. We are three three years down and I'm doing very well. I'm happy. So thing is, um my hair was so good, like my hairdresser was like so happy. And the lady who's actually been putting chem on my head since that time, since like class eight, is the same person who does it till today. Like we don't change the people, the, the, the lady who does that because that's another thing people like. So if there are mistakes that people make with relaxed hair, it's that having too many people handle your hair. Have someone, something that um, really kills... Uh, relaxed hair is the i the like some people some of these um saloonists do not the hairdressers they do not like take their time to what is it called they do not take their time with your hair like in terms of where after me paka kemsi wa na washanga they need to wash you Vizuri, like till that now chemical runs out. That's how they sh they should do it. So when that chemical back is, it cuts the hair. You get it? Yeah. So you need to be very keen on who's doing your hair and how they're doing it, and making sure all that nini runs out. And I know this because my hairdresser has always been telling us, don't go to other people because this is what they don't they won't do. And I'm not saying because I at the, of money or anything. At your losing my clients, it's just because I don't want you to lose your hair. But I'm not saying that at Tisasa Ukeka it will always work out for you. It works differently for everyone, I can see. Some people, you know, some hair ita ita withstand the chemical, other hair, nyolengine ita 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 fall off too. But yeah, but so one thing 
about chemical you should know if you're going back into relaxed hair or you do have relaxed hair or you're thinking about having relaxed hair please make sure whoever is making your hair for you is really so that you don't end up losing your hair like like that so why so i know a lot of people ask me like till now because my hair natural hair is actually not bad to be honest it's not too like at hard or anything i don't know what type it is because i can't i can't remember having <laughs> natural hair but it was i remember it wasn't too like even my mom normally tells me you know you, you don't really need chem because your hair is is good it's it's soft it's it's manageable according to you know i don't like saying manageable but yeah it's it's it can't be so bad even if i went natural but um so my thing about natural my thing about natural hair is first of all i feel like it's pricey <laughs> and my pockets are not able to sustain that and then i feel like it needs a lot of commitment in terms of like i really need to be loving my hair so much to be able to want to put all that time and energy into it like i see people doing all the streets like i really admire natural hair but mimi wendy mimi wendy mimi too wendy moja mama ya daina ah 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 i cannot see not a young guy who can start to deal na at cg cg detangler cg what cg hair mayonnaise cg ah, 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 i don't know like right now i'm actually is when i'm being so keen about my hair because i really want my hair to just become a bit thicker and more and probably longer hopefully if it can guy ninashika tu mafuta na ninaipaka kwa uso oh my god so um yeah that now is when i really want that for my hair but um yeah so it's actually a journey that i'm taking up and i really like i really like that i'm doing it honestly i really just like it i wish my mom was home because i end up doing it now you see doing my own hair is such a struggle and i can't always stress my mom with natural hair zangu hapo I mean, don't need to take a drink. Need me kill a sick twist out my hair, twist out my. I will be like, eh, 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 eh. Nani just go to the salon, which is definitely an extra expense. So, to me, I feel like natural hair is a full blown commitment. And if that's the case, I know I cannot completely commit. I I don't know. Maybe I'm not good with commitment. But <laughs> yeah, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's just it's just not for me. But then I would also just want to debunk the idea that you know relaxed hair is so bad. It's not so bad if it's actually working for you. I mean, love your hair as is. It's it's amazing to have like um. You know, if you feel like this is the way, the one thing that's gonna work for you and your hair, sis, do it. This thing it smells like G, Nitty Shamba. great and happy so what i'm gonna do is just go throw on my satin bonnet get into my pajamas and get ready for bedtime i can hear the kids downstairs i'm mommy for a long time so yeah i gotta work on that um yeah i think basically that's that so i do love my hair relaxed i have no problem with people with natural hair i mean natural hair yes and i admire what they do it's just that it's not really my thing and i think that should be okay as well 
it's actually okay to have relaxed hair in this age and time so yeah thanks so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you tune in every mondays and thursdays for new episodes and yeah it happens without fail every monday and thursday keep it here being wendy and make sure you subscribe and goodbye